Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 1. On this episode I know that I said we'd go to Sen's Fortress, but we're not. Because I had a better idea. Which, if it depends on the way you look at it as to if it was a better idea or not. But my idea is go down to the catacombs. I know I also said I'll only go down there when I need to. But, you yeah, know. So we'll just run through all this. And down to here. Come running. And we are down in the catacombs. And in terms of the skeletons, they're not following me, so that's fine. There is one there. I expected him to die first here. Yeah. Those skulls are annoying. Um, see how they have glowy eyes? That means that they won't die until you kill the guy that's bringing them back. Who is just in through this hole. There he is. So you kill that guy. And they will now come back. Uh, no, that's not. And light the bonfire. You can also sit at this bonfire. It makes it a lot easier. Um, push this lever. So what that's done is open this door. Now I will kill these guys just because then they don't follow you. There we go. So, there's a spellcaster thing. Now there are two ways of getting to the boss. One way requires you to run everywhere. The other way requires you to Kill these couple of skeletons and then you'll pretty much be there. Yeah, hello. Oh yeah, these guys might come back because of that spellcaster over the thing. Uh, once the spellcaster dies it doesn't come back. So you can get Mombo combo here like that. Where they they just don't stop attacking you. So, yeah. But this is why that bonfire that I sat at makes it a hell of a lot easier. Um, the skeletons respawn, but the casters don't. Um, so, he's dead. He's dead. Um, if I had arrows, I could just sit here and pick him off, but I don't. So, yeah. The reason why we're coming down here, because if you can kindle your bonfires, it makes life a shit ton easier. And also, if you heal up, it also makes it a shit ton easier. So, here's this guy. I missed him once again. There we are. Just want to keep chasing him. Because they'll all just keep coming back until you kill him. Alright. Now I'm probably going to die here. Yep. Definitely. But it now means that the run through here will be a lot easier because I only have to deal with the skeletons once. They might keep respawning. 
because they just come back to life if you don't kill them guys. As you've seen with these ones. I killed this one and yeah. Blood loss, very annoying, but meh. So now that he's dead, technically I can just go the quick and easy way to get down to the boss. Um, which I'm not going to do as much as I want to. Um, yeah, I, I do want to, but I better not. I better go through it all and show you all that shit. Ouch. There we go. So now they don't reach Because the trick is to roll down here. There's a ledge there. And then there will be another ledge and so on and so forth. And then you get down to the bottom. So I just want to trigger one at a time as always. Because if you trigger more then it can be harder. Let me kill you. Then we'll get you to Alright. We'll continue moving. go until I get this and then I'll come backwards. Um, so in here there'll be some skeletons. And we soon. Okay, keep going. Um, I can go this way, which should lead me to the outro, yep. So now he's gone, there's another one there. Is that a... no. Sometimes they can be breakable walls or something. There's a soul on them. Out here... You've got all them things you got to go on and run. And then you might be able to open that back up. Yeah, those things also get you. If you're not careful. Um, so, you push this. And that'll turn that bridge. So you can get that guy. As always, just, yep. So, these guys' caster are still alive, obviously, because they just came back. So, we got all these enemies here. And um, we rolled through that, which was cool. Uh, didn't that time. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Oh. You do have to be careful not to roll off. Oh, and I died because I didn't quite kill him. And I ran out of stamina. Um, I do need to level up my stamina as well, which is endurance, but yeah. But now I get to, because I've turned that already, um, I can just run straight across there. So it is, every time I die, I am actually moving forward, even though I've got to rerun it all. But it is still me moving forward. 
which is how I look at it. Um, if I die to the boss, however, I will be pissed because the boss is uh, probably the worst boss in the game in terms of mechanics. Um, obviously, that's where we think of is. We sell us off. So I might be able to leave that one there. Ah, I better kill him. Where is he? Out oh, there. There we go, got him. Um, got him, we can leave them. Wait for him. And him. Not worried about him. Yeah. And I just fell off the map. Wow. That's the thing about that bridge. Oh, all them bridges is that you've got to be careful where you roll, where you step, because gravity in this game likes to work 50% of the time. And that 50% of the time is the 50% of the time you don't want it to work. Um, so that was probably the only run that I've had so far. That I've moved forward. Well, didn't move forward, I should say. Um, I guess that I can try to show you the way that you can just get down there. No. Don't even know what the hell that was. Mm. Nah, but I do want to go get my cells. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yep, yep, yep. So you have to be very careful when you step off there. Because, yeah, you gotta land on that. I'm not going to. Um, but, yeah, you yeah, come off there and you yeah, eventually manage to get down to the bottom, then you gotta deal with all these pinwheels. You'll see what I mean when I get down there eventually after doing this run about a hundred times. There we go, got him. It does make it a hell of a lot easier though, doesn't it? When you kill their master thing that res resurrects them, and they stay dead. Um, let's go this way just to see what's this way. There's seemingly nothing. It's just an extra enemy, I guess. Hmm. So, recover lost power. Backstab. Option. All right. Mm. 
Oh. What? See, that shouldn't have happened. Um, I did try, I did get a heal off in there, but it didn't, I got hit just before it went off. I'd finished drinking the potion, but it just, yeah. Um, so I guess we'll kill these guys again. It's just getting that caster from across the bridge. And got him. Got him. Uh, there is another smith that we'll miss that we'll meet uh, when we get down here too. Um, he's a skeleton one, and he's he's all right. Um, he does in this game the smithies do different things. Um, pretty sure he does fire. There we go, got him. Heal up. Kill this guy. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's why that explains it. It's annoying. And kill him. Kill that guy. Come through it. Kill this guy. Kill this archer. And I'll recover my lost power. What I need to do is come back here and heal quickly. And now he's actually by himself. And he is also dead. Which is helpful. Pretty sure that those actually break apart. Oh, got him. Now I'll uh, heal up and we'll come running down here. Kill that guy. No. Yeah. Oh. So you can just run far enough away that they won't get you in one of their attacks. I think there's another caster or something around here. Um, Take that soul item and I'm dead. Definitely. Alright. Well. It's annoyed me enough that I'm actually going to try and do my shortcut to the boss. And then I'll just come back through after that and try to work it out. So, at least all these guys can be killed now. 
makes life easier. Alright. So like I said, drop to there, come down to here, heal up. Um, that skull, obviously. Those skulls are annoying. But you can come through here and there will be stuff in here. Um, to deal with. Believe that there's a tight knot down in there. Yep, you can see it. But there's a hole here and whatnot. Um, well, while I'm here, I'll take that. And we could go and kill that tight knot down, but we're not. We aren't. We are going to continue on our way. Which is this way. Pretty sure. Actually, have I forgotten where this drop is? Um, that. It's just there. When they blow up, they do that. So, I'll heal. Just take these out they will resurrect and it's annoying and I'm about dead oh, okay so just need to do that there ah oh, but that's where you drop and then you drop down again and it's just over there that's where you need to be if you can get lucky enough that none of the skeletons drop down on that thing with you you're pretty right um, yeah so you can try it by just running past everything I don't recommend that but we're gonna try it anyway because usually something hits you And like I said, just be careful there. You drop down. And you drop down again. And you heal up. And now you've just got to... Ah, uh, oh, whoops. Forgot to grab that. These are the pinwheels. Um, as you can see um, so you have to be very careful there because those pinwheels will come after you and here they come they just do repeated damage until you die essentially but here's the boss fog we're gonna go through it they can't get through they can't hurt you when you're going through all right i made it um so you just drop down here So, this is Pinwheel, right, I 
this guy is a joke as you can see oh that one there's the real one is it yep and another hit and he's dead See what I mean? If I had died to him, I would have been pissed. But now I've got the right of kindling, which gives me some stuff. Um, you can break that if you want to, you don't have to. There's the light of the climb back up and out. And I believe there are actually skeletons that can get you here. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Pinwheel will drop you a mask. I got the mask of the mother. Um, you can get the mask of the mother, the father, or the son. I believe it is. And they all they all do different things, but yeah. So now it is pitch black, unless you've got. Um, a mask that actually something in there that gives off light which I don't have uh, the mask of the mother uh, one of the three masks of pinwheel the necromancer who stole the power of the grave lord and reigns over the catacombs the mask this mask belongs to the kindly mother slightly raises HP so that one gives you more health I can't remember what the other two do but yeah um, also by killing those things that I was killing they can give you a lantern which will also help uh, but for now we're just going to homeward bone out because where we are we don't need to be until later so that's that we're actually going to go back to filing and then that's where I'll end this episode so just run past all these, there's no real point in fighting them, unless you really want to. Um, yeah. You do have to be careful because there is that skeleton on the way up here, just there, that, you know, can sometimes be a bitch to get around and you can just die there because you can't move. But now we're back here, and yeah, I'll just run past all these. There is another place that we can go to now, if we really wanted to. And there isn't much point in going there at all. Um, but, you know, if we wanted to, we could. So, there's a skeleton coming. And he's going away. Just waiting to sit down so that I can get everyone to go back. Right, so kindling. You need to reverse hollow, which I'll do. There we go. Now, you need more humanity. So, if I go another one, actually, we'll pop two because I'll show you what it does. So, see, I've got ten. That's from sitting at this one, it's already been kindled once. So, you get off with humanity to kindle the flame, give it another humanity, and now I get fifteen every time I sit here. You can do it again and you'll get 20 and then I yeah I don't know if you pop another humanity which I will just to show can't be kindled any further 
So now I get 20 every time I sit there. Um, I already got, yeah, I upgraded it. Never mind. But now I can do endurance, which will raise my stamina slightly. Uh, but what I will do first, because I can only go one level, is use these. Uh, all three. So there we go. I accidentally hit leave. So if I go to level up, I might level up strength more. Do more damage. Um, I wonder if this dude's got anything else to say. I'm not sure if you can kill him or not, but uh, I don't know, wrong price. So I'll see if I can get back to where we might go next time instead of Sen's Fortress, which I probably should be doing, but I'm not because I can't be bothered. Uh, come up here, come up here. There we go. And then just run around here. And you have to jump onto that there. So, you know, like that. Perfect jump. Um, yeah, come up here. Come all the way up here, and then you can hop in that there, and the bird will take you again. But first, we need to get onto that roof and get that item. So we'll drop. There we go. And then I'm pretty sure that we actually need to do the jump again. I'm pretty sure that that's the case. Uh, you don't really want to fall down there. See there's the bonfire there too. Um, Yeah. So come down here. Come down here. Ignore them. Um so yeah, next episode we will go to the asylum once again. Um I hate this skeleton. If it's coming after me, come on. Ah, oh, screw it. I'll just go kill it. Might as well. See? And rest. Okay, so that was that for this episode. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to say. Next episode we'll go to the... Undead Asylum, which is where we started the game off. Um, but other than that, goodbye and good night.